नमस्ते वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर्स एंड ई एस आर् इनिशियेटिव बै शिवानंद शर्मा मेमोरियल आर् कॉलेज एस एस एम आर् कॉलेज वन आफ द प्रीमियर इंस्टिट्यूशन रन बै द प्रिस्टीजियस् आर् ग्रूप आफ् इंस्टिट्यूशन हेज कम अप वित् यूनी इनिशियेटिव टू एंगेज स्टूडेंट अट द टाइम आफ् दिस अनफोर्सिंग मेडिकल एमर्जेंसी कास्ड बै करोना औट ब्रेक As a socially responsible institution, we would like to connect academically with students to make good the losses caused. In this connection, I M Rupalata of Department of Commerce has posted a video on the subject progression and the topic arithmetic progression. Please watch the video till the end and like, share with your peer groups and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Unit five progressions. So, what is a progression? It is a set of numbers arranged according to some definite rule is called a sequence or progression. The members of the sequence are called terms, and they are numbered as first, second, third, fourth, and so on. Example: one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Eleven, and so on, and Eight minus eight, eight minus eight, eight minus eight, and so on. There are two types of series: finite series and infinite series. Finite series, a series containing a limited number of terms, is said to be finite series. Example: two plus four plus six plus eight plus ten plus twelve. So here, it is a finite series consisting of six terms. Next, infinite series. A sequence which contains the infinite number of terms is known as infinite sequence. Example: two plus four plus six plus eight plus ten plus twelve plus fourteen plus etc. That is so on. This is known as infinite series. Arithmetic progression. An arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers in which Each term after the first term is obtained from the preceding term by adding to it a constant number. The difference between any term and the preceding term is always same. That is, the difference between first term and second term, second term and third term, third and fourth will be same. The first term is denoted by a. The common difference by d. How do we get the common difference? Common difference is equal to any term minus its preceding term, except first term. That is, the first term should not be taken other than the first term, any term minus its preceding term. The general representative of arithmetic progression is a, a plus d, a plus two d. A plus three d and so on. To find the nth term of arithmetic progression, as you know, the general representative of arithmetic progression is a a plus d a plus two d a plus three d and so on. So t one that is term one is equal to a. How did we get that? A plus one minus one into d. One minus one is zero. Zero into d is zero. So a plus zero is equal to a. In the same way, t two that is term two is equal to a plus two minus one into d. Two minus one is one into d. That is a plus d. And term three is a plus two d. Term four a plus three d, and so on till nth term. So t n that is nth term is equal to a plus n minus one into d, that is, nth term is equal to first term plus n minus one into common difference. Now let us solve the problem. Find the tenth term of the sequence three, five, seven, nine, and so on. The given series is in arithmetic progression. So the first term, that is a, is equal to three. The common difference that is equal to any term minus previous term except first term. 
that is 5 minus 3 or 7 minus 5 or 9 minus 7 we get d is equal to 2 n is equal to 10 so t n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d now substituting the values we get 3 plus 10 minus 1 into 2 so 3 plus 10 minus 1 9 into 2 that is 3 plus 18 that is equal to 21 therefore the tenth term that is t10 is equal to 21 next problem find the tenth term of the sequence 1 1 by 2 3 4 1 by 2 6 and so on the given series is in ap the first term a is equal to 1 1 by 2 that is it is in mixed fraction so we have to convert it into improper fraction 2 into 1 plus 1 that is equal to 3 3 by 2 the common difference is equal to any term minus previous term except first term so 3 minus 1 1 by 2 that is equal to 3 minus 3 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 so d is equal to 3 by 2 n is equal to 10 so nth term that is t n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so substituting the values 3 by 2 plus 10 minus 1 into 3 by 2 that is 3 by 2 plus 9 into 3 by 2 3 by 2 plus 27 by 2 that is equal to 30 by 2 that is equal to 15 so 10th term that is t10 is equal to 15 next problem which term of the series 7 10 13 and so on is 151 the given series is in ap the first term a is equal to 7 the common difference 10 minus 7 is equal to 3 so here we have to find n in the given problem t n that is nth term is equal to 151 so substituting the values in t n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d we get 151 is equal to 7 plus n minus 1 into 3 that is 151 is equal to 7 plus 3 n minus 3 so 151 is equal to 7 minus 3 that is 4 plus 3 n so 3 n is equal to 151 minus 4 that is 147 so n is equal to 147 by 3 that is n is equal to 49 so nth term is 49 therefore 49th term is 151 here are the few problems try it yourself in a similar way you can do these problems the answers are given at the bottom please solve it here few more problems have been given which you can try for yourself the other type of problems you can expect uh, if the 11th term of an AP is 44 and 16th term is 19 find the 20th term and the AP so we will go to solution let the series be a a plus d a plus 2d t n that is nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so t 11 is equal to a plus 10 d that is equal to 44 this is given in the problem so let us take this as an equation 1 so t 16 is equal to a plus 15 d is equal to 19 this is also given in the problem we take it as equation 2 so now equation 2 minus equation 1 we get 5 d is equal to minus 25 and d is equal to minus 5 now substituting d is equal to minus 5 in equation 1 we get a plus 10 into minus 5 is equal to 44 a minus 50 is equal to 44 a is equal to 94 d is equal to minus 5 a is equal to 94 so 
so 20th term is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d substituting the value 94 plus 19d is equal to 94 plus 19 into minus 5 that is d is equal to minus 5 so 94 minus 95 that is equal to minus 1 so 20th term is minus 1 the sequence in ap are a a plus d a plus 2d we have to substitute the values a 94 a plus d 94 minus 5 a plus 2d 94 minus 2 into minus 5 so we get 94 89 84 and so on these are the similar problems you can try it yourself to find sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression let s denotes the sum of first n terms of ap first term is a and the common difference is d and the last term is i so sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d or sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus i sum of n term is equal to sum of terms divided by 2 into first term plus last term so here are some problems based on that find the sum of 40 elements of ap 2 4 6 8 10 and so on so here a is equal to 2 d is equal to 4 minus 2 that is 2 n is equal to 40 so these are given in the problem so sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d by substituting the values n 40 that is 40 by 2 into 2 into 2 plus 40 minus 1 into 2 so we get 20 into 4 plus 39 into 2 that is 20 into 82 that is 1640 that is 1640 the other type of problems how many terms of an AP 42, 36, 30 and so on amounts to 150? So here A is equal to 42, D is equal to 36 minus 42 that is minus 6, S is equal to 150, we have to find N. So SN is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D by substituting the values 150 is equal to n by 2 into 2 into 42 plus n minus 1 into minus 6. So, by solving this, we are going to get 6n square minus 90n plus 300. And to make this simple, we divide it by 6. So, we get n square minus 15n minus 50 implies n square minus 10n minus 5n plus 50. That is finding the factors n into n minus 10 minus 5 into n minus 10 so n is equal to 10 or n is equal to minus 5 the next type of problem find the sum of all numbers between 200 and 400 which are divisible by 7 solution the numbers between 200 and 400 which are divisible by 7 are 203 210 217 and so on till 399 so, A is equal to 203, D is equal to 7 and we have to find N. So, Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So, Tn is equal to 399 is equal to 203 plus N minus 1 into 7. We get 7N is equal to 203 implies N is equal to 29. So, substituting the values in Sn is equal to N by 2 into A plus I where I is the last term. 29 divided by 2 into 203 plus 399 implies 29 divided by 2 into 602 which gives 8729 that is 8729 is the answer. This is a similar problem which you can try it. Work out and solve all the problems given to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.